filmed at Children's Museum Houston in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to... So this isn't the floor, is lava on ice? I am your host, Jacob, welcome to Mind Your Matter, the only game show that matters. Without any further ado, let's meet our contestants. In second place with three and a half points is contestant number one, Anna Williams, a fifth grade science student from Mindelev Elementary. So excited to be here. In first place with four points is contestant number two, Mikey Gomez, a sixth grade student from Rosalind Franklin Middle School. Thanks for having us here. Contestant number three, still in last with zero points, is Phyllis Stein, who claims to be a super genius, though I'm beginning to wonder if she's even a regular genius. Uh, I'm ready to turn this thing around, Jacob. Alrighty then, let's spin the wheel of science. Today's scientific challenge is... Magnetism! Show us how magnets work! Contestants, you will each be given one minute to demonstrate the force of magnetism. You will be awarded one point for each fact you give us about magnets. All right, while we let our contestants work up their experiments, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Welcome to Wacky's Matters Magnet Emporium. We sell only the finest of magnets. Bar magnets, ring magnets, horseshoe magnets. We got them all. We have ceramic magnets, alnico magnets, and neodymium rare earth magnets. All our magnets come with two poles, north and south, and our light poles are guaranteed to repel and opposite poles will always attract. So if you need a magnet to attract iron-based metals and or align with the earth's magnetic poles, come on down to Wacky's Matters Magnet Emporium. You'll be attracted to our prices. Welcome back. A reminder that while it is fun to do scientific experiments at home, you should always have a responsible adult, not Phyllis, help you stay safe. Not cool, man. Anna, we'll start with you. Thank you, Jacob. For my demonstration, I am going to be showing what is and what is not magnetic using this neodymium rare earth magnet, which is very strong. But really, you can do this test with any magnet. Only a few materials actually react to magnets, no matter how strong it is. For example, when I put the magnet on objects that aren't metal, such as this paper, plastic dog, and toothpick, they will not react to it. Non-metals are not magnetic. We can also test different types of metal, and we'll find that many metals won't respond either, like this aluminum foil or this copper wire. However, when we test objects made of iron, they are attracted to the magnet. Same with objects made of steel, which contains iron. There are other metals that have enough magnetism to respond to the magnet, such as nickel or cobalt. Thank you, Anna. You've earned three points for your demonstration. Mikey, on to you. Anna did a great job demonstrating how other objects are affected by magnets. Now I'm going to look at how magnets affect and interact with each other. First, all magnets have two poles. One is north, labeled with an N, and one is south, labeled with an S. These two poles will interact by either attracting and coming together or repelling and pushing away from each other. I can stack magnets on the stick so that each have a pole facing the other magnet. If poles facing each other are north and north, they repel. And if they are south and south, they also repel. The same poles repel or push away from each other. But if I stack them so the opposite poles a north and south face each other, they attract or pull towards each other. So just remember, with magnets, opposites attract and likes repel. Fantastic, Mikey. Three points for you for that great work. On to our last contestant, Phyllis. What have you got for us? I've brought with me the Electromagnetizer 8000, the most powerful electromagnetic device ever created. I will turn it on to its very lowest setting and it will make this aluminum can float in the air. Okay, I'm not sure if that'll work, but let's see it. Huh, that's not, um, hold on, let me turn it up to It's not working because aluminum isn't magnetic. Nonsense. I just need to expose it to more electromagnetic energy. Is this supposed to happen? Maybe I just need to switch the poles. Um, that's, that's not how it works, Phyllis. 
turning it up to 11! No! no. that folks uh once again philistine has ignored the rules of the scientific process all for a grand total of zero points uh mikey's still in the lead with seven points and anna close behind with six and a half this is our show and we'll see you next time on oh oh they probably should not have used real lava for this one. Oh. oh.